Ah, uh, no filming? Uh-oh. I need to be escorted to ladies walking with me. Oh. Playboy playing cards. I look Japanese. Oh. La placente. Placenta. Placenta. La placente. Two more placentas. Greetings to all of you from the magnificent city of Bucharest and I'm excited to be here. I've been here many, many, many times, but this is my first time as a YouTuber. And right there, guys, is a structure known as Casa Poporlui, which means or translates as the people's house. Now, it's a very controversial structure because they say that as many as 7,000 people died building this building for the once ruler of this country, Nicolae Ceausescu. Now, people would actually be sent on work duty here during their military service and would spend anywhere from one month to six months slaving on building this structure. It was erected in the 1980s and Ceausescu used to love standing right there on the balcony. Extremely impressive. Now, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about this building, so you can go and have a look. But as you know, I am all about the city, the local people, and we're gonna head to a local market and see how the people of Bucharest are really like. Let's go. Well guys, well as you very well know, if I've got a limited amount of time in a city, I'm always going to head to a market to get a good grasp of what the local life is like. I'm at the Piata Obor, Piazza Obor, which is probably the largest market here in Bucharest. I can already tell that this is going to be some experience. Hello. Plata. 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 He wants to get paid for being on camera. Everything you want and everything you don't want, you can find here. I can already tell, guys, that this is going to be some experience. Why, hello. Hello. What are you polishing there? There. Deutsch, English. English. Deutsch, no? Ein bisschen. Ich arbeite. Silver, gold. Silver, gold. gold. Arbeit. Ja. Understand? Ja, 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 genau. Verstehen? Ja, ein bisschen. Äh. Warum nicht? Alles gut? Hast du da ein Land so brutal, so? Aha. Ich arbeite. Ja, Meister. Das Meister. ist sehr gut. Meister. Bravo. Lade wieder. Hi, ciao. Bye, bye. I'm wondering if there's many pavilions here. I can already tell a lot of people are a bit anxious over my filming, but that's all right. Just be nice, just be friendly, and it'll all be okay. And as you know, this is what they call brinza. Sorry? No photo. Ah, no filming? Uh-oh. Why not? Well, guys, failing yesterday's encounter in the market, I have a another idea. And I found this wonderful, quaint little flea market on the suburbs of Bucharest. Yeah, once again, I need to be escorted in this market in order to be able to film. So this time I literally went and requested permission. And I'm telling you, this is a phenomenal place. If you come to Bucharest, make sure you check this place out. It's absolutely phenomenal. And you get anything you want here, even some switchblades. Good morning. All your knickknacks. I mean, this guy's selling everything from tools. Hello. Two quail eggs. This is eggs. How random is that? This is what I love about these places is that you never know what you're going to expect. Yeah, we're just going to look around. And uh, good morning. How are you, my friend? So you're selling chargers here. Mobile phones, laptops. Have a nice day. And the people are very, very friendly, too. Cool music, too, isn't it? Guys, look at this. I'm not sure what this is, but look at this stuff right here. I mean, this dates back from a Soviet communication radio. That is super cool. I don't know how old this thing is, but that's a Kodak camera. That would be worth a couple of bucks. I tell you, anybody with the time and the knowledge could come to a place like this and I'm sure find some amazing deal. Good morning. Speak English? From England, yeah? Wow, a Remington Rand made in made in Great Britain. How much costs this one? 80 euro. That's not bad. 
thank you. This is a phenomenal place, guys. I'm sure if you ever needed a part for anything, you could find it in a place like this if you rummaged around, or probably if you just asked one of the vendors and they would know what stool had it and they would probably find it right away. Now I'm filming myself mainly because I don't want to cause any problems, intimidate anybody in this place because, you know, I'm being escorted. These are super nice down there. They look like they're hand carved in wood, see that? Hello my friend, how are you? These are nice. What are you having? Uh, maybe, Not maybe. a gun, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is this? Wow. Dark. Cool. You make this? Yes. Can you yes. take it on the plane? Uh, yes, yes. I think yes. yes. No but what, what do you put inside? What petrol uh, you put inside? Yes. Zippo fluid and it's 50 lei. Yes. Give me one. Choose you one. sold me. Choose Give one. me the best one. Yeah, the best one. This when I go when I go to the mountains, this will be very yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. And we've gathered a crowd here with this purchase. Dan Daniel seven eight. That's you, your, your that's your channel. <laughs> Dan Daniel seven eight. Yes. How are you, my friend? Very good. Are you making a video as well? Oh, what no. is this? What are you selling? Dyson. That's a battery for a Dyson, huh? Yes. You have the uh, vacuum cleaner. Three euro. You, you uh, bought it for three euros? Yes. I'm sure that's probably a lot more expensive on eBay, no? Kind of uh, one, uh, one zero after. 30 euros, yeah? Uh, <laughs> wow, unbelievable. That's what you do. You buy stuff and resell it, huh? Yes. Excellent. Ah. Bye. Bye-bye, my friend. Nice and, to uh, meet you. Thanks for watching. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> my channel is Claude Casal. Everybody's got a YouTube yes. channel in this place. Look, look. Your YouTube channel is Claudio? Claudio Casal. Claudio Casal. This is yours. Perfect. Guys, you never know when you're going to need a flame. Yes. Here you go. I didn't even negotiate. This is so good, so useful, and this guy's so nice that I didn't even bring his price down. Your name is Claudio. Claudio. Nice to meet yes. you, Claudio. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Stefan. You also have a YouTube channel? No, 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 no. You have to start one. <laughs> See you later. Have a good one. This must be communication devices with the, uh, with the antennas. And look, you've got those canisters there. This is so cool. You've got available to buy half a bottle of uh, Spanish brandy Osborne. Do people really buy half bottles? Oh, look at these old-fashioned cameras here. So what I'm actually on the lookout for, and if I ever find one, a Soviet-made Minox spy camera. The ones they used to, they're very hard to come by. I always check to see that maybe one day I'll get lucky. Guys, I'm not doing much B-roll for this video because, as I said, they've asked me to be very cautious here. And there are, once again, two ladies walking with me, making sure I don't get in trouble. And I've got to say, the staff here is extremely friendly, accommodating. And they didn't just send me away like yesterday saying, no, nah, no, nah, it's not going to happen. This looks like olive oil, Italian olive oil. Good morning. Sicilian. Sicilian, huh? Very good stuff. Literally, like I say, you can find anything you want and loads of things you don't want in places like this. Electronic cigarette? Wow. This is yours. You're smoking it, huh? Vintage electronic cigarette. I don't know who's ever gonna buy that. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Oh, look at this. What is this? Concert tomorrow. Tomorrow <laughs> morning. How are you, my friend? Backgammon? Nardi? How much? 200 lei. That's a bit steep because you could probably get them in uh, Turkey brand new at a fraction of the cost. Now, Playboy playing cards. These are cool. One of my favorite board games is backgammon. And yeah, this is a little tiny backgammon set. I love playing this. 120 euros, handmade backgammon set. That's really not bad, actually. Handmade, yeah? Japan. Japan. No, England. I look Japanese. <laughs> the guy thinks I'm Japanese. That's a first. You can buy a bit of rock if you like. They even sell stones in the market in Romania. Good moves, good vibes, good fun. Oh, look at these cameras, guys. This place is just full of old cameras. There is no, oh, look at these. These are so cool. How much? 150 day, 45 euros, 45. 
It's silver? No. Plated with silver, huh? And you have the whole collection here. What glass goes in there? Russian production. Ah, it's a Russian made, yeah? Okay, I'll continue filming, I'll come back in a second. We'll negotiate on this one. 50 euro life price. Ah, it's gone up, huh? <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> He's gone from 35 to 50 final price. Well, as I said, including the kitchen sink, literally. <coughs> Here you've got medical instruments. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? For the tooth? No, no, no. no. Spreader, you know? Oh, Spreader. spreader. Oh, you speak good English. Thanks for the uh, explanation. Sorry? Anglia, Anglia. Anglia. Yeah, go Union Jack. Yeah. God, there, what okay. appears to be electric meters. Is that an electric meter? Yep. What's it for, though? Why would you need an electric meter? If you want to measure voltage or amperage. Ah. Very old, huh? I see they're written in Russian there. Yeah. They're older than me. All right. <laughs> you speak good English. Thanks. Both of you, by the way. In Romania, we buy from Russia. I don't even know if they make this in the US or in England. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Look at this self-defense stuff here. Butterfly knife, switch blades. Good morning. This is for the forest, yes? Machete. Knuckle dusters. For the dentist. For the dentist, huh? <laughs> he says, oh, good cigar. What are you smoking there? What cigar is that? Good price. Yeah? You've got a zapper. Give me a show. Oh. That's gonna make some harm, huh? This is serious stuff, guys. Look at this. No, it's for children. Go to school. Ah, this is to take to school for kids. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I love the smell of that cigar. You should smoke it. It attracts the people. Meat grinder. Made in Sweden. It weighs a bloody ton. And I bet you this would grind your meat really well. I've got one actually, modern one. Doesn't weigh as much, but they're good. They're good for making various things, obviously mincing your meat, but I also use them for making falafels. You often wonder, like I'm in a flea market in Bucharest, and it says Force Armée Gabonaise. How does a item from Gabon end up in Romania? Maybe you have the answer. 100 lei. The answer is why this piece of food from Gabon is here in Romania. In Romania. It's an interesting question. If you had to, from the moment it was made, the journey it must have made to end up here, it's interesting, no? Uh, the answer could be in the ancient times because uh, this army was, um, I think, friendly relation linked with uh, European armies. And some of Romanian soldiers must have served there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And right. very nice. Thank you for your input. Okay, Where you come from? England. England. Look, he's got city. the old London, mate. Look, the old-fashioned beepers. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen these in years. Before the mobile phone. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the uh, the information. That's interesting. You too. Look at these things. Barbecuing right here. Good morning. Huh? It's not barbecue. It's not barbecue, huh? This is cake? Yes. It's like donut. Donut? You sell peace or only the... Uh, all. Let me get one. Take a look at this, guys. Let's see how good this is. I haven't had breakfast yet. I don't know if it's the best thing to start the morning with a donut. Oh, this is so good. What's it called? Pure Tosh Cola. Pure Tosh Cola? Yes. Four euros, guys, for a donut this big. Amazing. And the taste? Absolutely exquisite. Have a nice day, my friend. Where I find, find you? Oh, my YouTube channel is just in Eastern Europe. Have a lovely day. Tonight. You too, mate. Thanks. Good English, by the way. That was gorgeous. Well, guys, the market's behind me. And honestly speaking, guys, a great market and worth a visit. Um, but now that we're out of there, I need to get some food. So, And look, what's right there? Good old McDonald's. We're definitely not going there. Not whilst we're traveling. We can do that when we're home. Let's find a cool place to eat. And I'll see you there. So guys, look what I found. La Placinte. Now, I don't know if you remember, when I was in Moldova, I showed you this place, and the footage I did on the inside, I lost completely. So I'm thrilled to see that they actually have one here, because they had an amazing breakfast. Yeah, let's eat, I'm starving. So guys, it's a really extensive menu. Anything from your egg breakfast, soups, salads, 
and it's really tasty. Let's see what we'll order. Guys, you should never go to a restaurant hungover and hungry. I think I've overdone it here, and I'm not sure what we've got here. We're completely confused. So this is a placenta with something in it, another placenta with something or another in it, two more placentas. This I can see is with cabbage, and this one, I don't know, it looks amazing. An amazing beetroot salad, bean paste, kind of like hummus, but made out of different beans. This amazing plate of cutletas. Now, from my recollection, this food was amazing, so let me dig in. Start with the cutletas. Mmm, so good. With um, Korean carrots, it goes so well together. Mmm, feels so good. So this is the placenta with um, with brinza, which is a kind of um, feta cheese. You can see the difference. They're both placentas, but I guess different regions might have different recipes. Just like in Georgia, you can have, you know, the uh, hachapuri. Depending on what area you're in, it'll be different, but I'm gonna have this like a pizza. Mmm, guys, this is amazing. So this next one is with um, some kind of cheese and greens. Oh, this is so good. And you got this one, which, there's no way I'm gonna eat all this. I'm gonna take this home with me and have a snack later. Pastry is completely different, but just as good. This one with uh, cabbage, super hot, but amazingly delicious. This one with the uh, cheese and herbs. I can't even decide which is my favorite. They're just all so good. Now I was really curious about trying these dips. So here goes the um, Romanian version of hummus. Quite nice, very, very garlicky. Beetroot salad that you can get anywhere in this part of the world. I'm gonna tuck into this and then share the dessert with you. So guys, being in a restaurant called La Placenta and having ordered every single one they had on the menu, guess what I'm having for dessert? La Placenta or Placenta. I've got two here. These are filled with cherry. These are filled with apple. I think this is gonna crunch, listen to this. Sour cherry. So nice. Similar to an apple strudel, I guess. That is phenomenal. The filling is seasoned with, I think it's honey and some other things, but it's really phenomenal. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video in the magnificent city of Bucharest in Romania. And until the next time, enjoy your journey.